Welcome to Blossoming to Brownies, everyone. This is Linda Trust, volunteer and troop support specialist at Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains. I support the brownie leaders in our council, so feel free to contact me at any time if you have any questions. So we'll start with the basics. Who is a brownie Girl Scout? A brownie Girl Scout is in second or third grade which would typically be eight to nine years old. Every girl is unique and has her own personality, but here are some typical characteristics of brownie age girls. Girl Scout brownies are eager to learn and are very active. They can work or play in one place for a short time without fidgeting. They have de developed fine motor skills. They do have good hand-eye coordination and they want to become independent. They may begin to show signs of puberty, and if so, they may be very self-conscious about it. At this age, it is usually best to provide activities that include some type of movement. Many girls do have a hard time sitting still for a long period of time. If possible, plan your activities so that the girls have the opportunity to move around and interact with the other girls. As for intellectual characteristics, brownies are developing reading and writing skills. They like to know the reasons for things and they love make-believe. They have approximately a 30 minute attention span and they do need action within an activity. So try to keep in activities engaging and fun. Stress that they are learning and having fun working with the other girls and we are not striving for perfection. When possible, provide activities that the girls can complete but are still challenging. Socially, girls are starting to become more independent from their family. They enjoy playing in groups and they want many friends. Some may have a best friend and they can now begin to see the two sides of an issue. Try to buddy the girls with different girls each week and encourage mingling within the group. This may reduce the formation of cliques within the troop. Each week, have the girls work with new girls so they develop friendships with and are comfortable with the other girls in the troop. Emotionally, brownies can be inconsistent in their mood and behavior. In general, they need praise and encouragement. They like to work in groups and they like to help others. They do have a vivid imagination and are usually affectionate, helpful, cheerful, curious, and silly. On the other hand, they can also be rude, selfish, and demanding. They can also be very sensitive and over-dramatize any situation. When this happens, allow to the girls to express their feelings, but they must respect others in doing so. Encourage the girls to try new things and teach them that we do learn from our mistakes. If something is not going right, it may provide the opportunity to make fun of it or a joke of it. Girls tend to remember things that didn't go right and will laugh at it in the long run. Showing the girls that you respect them for trying something new will help to build their confidence in trying new things in the future. If you were a daisy leader, you know that Girl Scout daisies made decisions by voting yes or no, choosing this or that, or picking from a short list of choices. Now that the girls are brownies, they will have more decisions to make. Brownies are able to brainstorm lists of ideas and vote on them. Brownies can make decisions about how money is earned and spent, what trips they would like to take, what journey and badges they are interested in doing. The adults facilitate the discussion and help the girls make a group decision. When you are leading a brownie meeting, discussion should be primarily led by the girls, but brownie leaders often have to keep the discussion on track. So the adults will initiate the discussions, the girls brainstorm the ideas, and then vote to make a group decision. These are the Girl Scout processes. The discussions are girl-led, they are learning by doing, and they are experiencing cooperative learning as they work with the other girls. The Brownie Circle. 
The brownie circle is the brownie form of troop government, and it is a vital part of the brownie meeting. When sitting in a circle, everyone is equal, everyone can see what is happening, and everyone has equal say in decision making. The brownie circle is a great place for creating troop rules, getting to know each other, general discussions, making decisions, girl-led planning, and evaluation. Troop rules should be established early and firmly enforced. The circle is the business part of the meeting and girls need to listen so they know what is going on. Here they need to listen to each other respectfully, even if the speaker's opinion differs from their own. A talking stick or other device may be a useful tool to indicate who has the right to speak at a certain time. PI PI is an acronym for Plan, Implement, Evaluate. Start simply with girl planning so that the girls can quickly develop confidence in their ability to make decisions. Let the girls decide on a simple activity, implement the activity, and then evaluate that activity. What did they like? What didn't they like? Was there something they could have changed? Would they make the same choice if they had to do it again? This piece is key, but is often forgotten. By taking the time to evaluate what they did, they will learn what they liked, what they didn't like, and what they might change the next time to make it even better. This is how girls progress through Girl Scouting, making more informed decisions as they grow. Building a positive troop environment. In my opinion, this is one of the most important things to remember as you start your year. If your first couple of meetings are positive and enjoyable, it will set the tone for the year. To create a positive environment, be a positive role model. The girls watch everything you do and hear everything you say. Model the Girl Scout promise and law whenever you are with the girls. Treat everyone with respect for who they are within their own capabilities. If a girl misbehaves, address the action privately to the side, not in front of the other girls. Encourage girls to do their best. Help them feel positive about themselves. Talk about being courageous and strong when they try something new, even if it doesn't turn out as planned. Listen to what the girls have to say. Also encourage the girls to listen respectfully to each other. Important not to stress perfection. Mistakes are a part of learning. The planning and learning process is much more important than the end result. And most importantly, have fun. Even if you have 101 other things you should be doing that day, think of your troop time as a magical escape into the world of childhood. Knowing that an adult respects them and enjoys spending time with them increases girls' self-confidence and self-esteem. And really, all you have to do is play with them. Behavior Management Being prepared will help prevent some behavior problems. Here is a list of things to consider when working with Girl Scout Brownies. Arrive early before the girls and have your meeting set up before they arrive. Establish a consistent schedule of activities for your meetings so the girls know what to expect. Have the girls develop their own troop rules and hold each other accountable for them. Let the girls take turn providing a snack, which gives girls responsibilities, the opportunity to share, and gives the girls time to relax with each other. Use a caper chart to equally divide and share responsibilities. Be a role model and exhibit the behavior that you would like to see in the girls. And always have a backup plan for when something does not go as expected. The Leader Daughter Girl Scout Experience Having your daughter in your troop is great fun and a great opportunity to learn and grow together, but it also can be challenging at times. Depending upon the maturity of your daughter, you may want to talk to her about being in the troop and try to develop an understanding that she will be treated just like all the other brownies in the troop. 
She may enjoy helping you decide on a troop name, such as Miss Sue, or go with a nickname such as Sleepy, or another silly name. Here are a few tips for success. Treat your daughter the same as the other girls. Let her be surprised about troop activities along with the other girls. Give her the same amount of attention at meetings as the other girls. Use a caper chart for setup and cleanup so all girls are helping equally. Use names on craft sticks to randomly select a girl for a special activity. All adults can have a troop nickname that the girls will use to take the mom out of the picture. Let the assistant leader be in charge of your daughter and vice versa. Also, be sure to spend special time with your daughter outside of troop meetings. Sharing her mother is harder for some girls than others. Feel free to ask other leaders for suggestions if you feel that this is particularly difficult for your daughter. Troop finances. Brownies are capable of making simple decisions about troop finances. With some input from troop parents, girls can decide on the amount of dues and bring dues to each meeting. They can collect and record dues during the meeting. They can select product sale goals with input from their family. They can help to set financial goals for the troop. And girls should know how much money is in their troop account and select troop activities based on that knowledge. They can also decide how to handle obtaining additional funds for an activity that they want to do but can't currently afford. The fall product and cookie sales are a great way to help girls begin planning their budget. There are resources that are provided for the sale that helps troops plan their budget. Each product sale has a theme and activities that help girls learn five skills. The skills are goal setting, decision making, money management, people skills, and business ethics. Girl Scout Brownie Programming, the Volunteer Toolkit. The Volunteer Toolkit is often referred to as the VTK. It will be a great resource for newer leaders as well as seasoned leaders as they plan their year with the girls. To access the VTK, go to our website, girlscoutsgwm.org, and select MyGS on the upper right-hand corner. To log in, use your email address as your login. If you need assistance with your password, please email customercare at girlscoutsgwm.org and they will send you a link to reset your password. Once you are in the VTK, you must choose a journey to be able to access the various features of the VTK. The features will not be enabled until you have chosen a journey, but you may change your journey choice at any time. You can actually choose two journey year options and one badge year option in the VTK. The It's Your Story Tell It journey and the It's Your Planet Love It journey are both available in the VTK. The It's Your World journey is not currently available in the VTK and you will need a leader's guide for that journey. You also have the option of creating your own year plan by using activities from the meeting library. The following slides are print screens showing you some of the features of the VTK. When you go into your account, you will need to set up meeting dates and a location in order for the plans to populate. They will not populate without this information. You can change this information at a later date. The current slide shows how the year plan schedules meetings with all the components of a journey. Meetings can be moved around, changed, and deleted as desired. This can also be either downloaded or printed for your use. Each meeting is broken down into sections with a list of resources needed for that meeting. The VTK creates an agenda for each meeting. These can also be modified to fit your troops' needs. 
Within an agenda item, each activity is broken down into materials, steps, and what to say, though do try to keep it girl-led. Again, modify these outlines to fit your needs. Having a detailed outline like this makes it easy for a parent to run an activity at a meeting. This page helps you track attendance and the recognitions each girl has earned. The VTK can easily be used to email troop members, so communication is easy. This slide shows you the troop roster with contact information. When you select a girl's name, it will take you right to the family record with all of the girl's contact information. An email can even be sent from within the schedule of a particular meeting to communicate certain details to the parents. In this slide, an email can be sent to the parents through the schedule of the May 16th meeting as a reminder of something that they need to remember about that particular meeting. Here we see a sample email sent through the meeting schedule. Again, all details can be customized by troop leaders. Here is another section of that same email showing that this is where leaders can request assistance for that particular meeting. They are asking for snacks, someone to welcome the girls, some supplies, and they are also asking parents that they complete something from the World of Water, water jar activity at home. You will also be able to attach forms to that email, such as permission slips or other paperwork, instead of sending them home with the girls. The volunteer toolkit also makes it easy to renew your troop's membership, and you can also see who is currently registered to your troop. This is the screen that would be used to renew membership for the girls in your troop. Please note that you will see the names of girls that are no longer active in your troop. They are designated as inactive. The Renew button will show up beside the girls' names that are currently active and are eligible to renew their membership. Here are some of the resources you can use when planning program with the girls. Journey boxes are available from the Girl Scout Resource Lending Library. The journey boxes contain materials to help you with a particular journey. The rental fee is $15 for a two-week period. For more information, select the Activities tab on the Girl Scout website, then select Resource Lending Library on the menu. The Girl's Guide to Girl Scouts provides information about brownie badges. Skill building sets are available at the Mountain Top Shop, which is the Girl Scout store. There is one badge set for each journey. The Program Guide is another great resource. It is mailed directly to each girl and can also be downloaded from the GSGWM website. There are also many patch programs available. These can be found under the about tab, then select Badges and Patches. Here is a snapshot of some badges that Brownies can earn. These are official GSUSA recognized recognitions. The process for using Journeys is the same at every age level. The key pieces of the Adult Journey Guide remain the same. There are sample sessions and goals and lists of activities. Feel free to do the activities as written, modify them, or create completely new activities based on what the girls want to do. There are materials lists to help you plan the resources you need for the journey. And remember the journey boxes are available for rent if you are interested. And then there's everything else. Each session gives you tips to prepare ahead, ideas for opening ceremonies, snacks, activities, 
and what to expect in the next session. And remember, if the girls decide to work on the It's Your World series, the Brownie Quest, leaders will need to use the adult guide. It is not currently available in the volunteer toolkit. As mentioned previously, Brownies earn badges. The first page of the Girl's Guide to Girl Scouts gives you an overview of the steps and purpose of a badge. Each badge has five steps and three choices. Girls pick one activity choice from each step. The badge steps do not have to be done in any particular order. Once girls have done the five steps, so five activities, they have earned the badge. The last page of each badge asks girls how they will take what they have learned and provide service. The goal of earning a badge is to learn a skill well enough to provide service. Badges are not required, but should be a side trip to the journeys based on girls' interests. The skill builder sets are loosely tied to the journey they are associated with, but you do not need to do that journey to earn one of the skill builder badges. And again, not all badges are included in the volunteer toolkit. Please remember that the purpose of earning a badge is to educate the girls, not to decorate their vests. The Girl's Guide is also your Brownie Handbook. In there, you will find additional resources, such as tips for leading a Brownie troop, Girl Scout history, the Brownie elf story, ceremonies, where to place insignia on a Brownie uniform, the Journey Summit Award, the My Promise My Faith pin, the Safety Award, Bridging to Junior Girl Scouts, and finan Financial Literacy Badges. Again, many of these are not yet in the Volunteer Toolkit. Creative Side Trips. The Journeys and the Girl's Guide are the official Girl Scout program resources, but adding in creative side trips adds even more fun and allows the Girl Scouts the opportunity to make decisions about what they would like to do. Use the program guide to allow girls to choose trips that they are excited about. Now that they are brownies, there are even more programs to choose from, including great overnights at museums, planetariums, and aquariums. Check your local resources for places to visit. Use a journey to give the girls ideas of places they can visit to bring journey experiences to life. Always make sure to check safety activity checkpoints and use the quick trip checklist as a guide to planning a trip. And go camping! Brownie Girl Scouts love to camp and are excited to learn about nature. At least one adult with your troop must be BOLS trained, which is ba basic outdoor living skills, but it does not have to be the troop leaders. Check our council website under adult learning for co course offerings. When planning creative side trips, be prepared. The Girl Scout motto, one way to be prepared is remember Waldo. W is weather. Anticipate weather conditions and plan accordingly. It is not the weather that will ruin an activity, but it is the preparation for the weather that will keep an activity fun. A is activity. The activity will dictate what type of clothes and gear are the best choices. Plan a list of what activities will be involved and let the girls plan what they will need to bring to wear. L, location. Are we there yet? Plan with the girls where you are going. Find the location on a map and review it with the girls. Let the girls plan for activities along the way to your activity. D, duration. How long will you be there? The duration of your trip will affect how much stuff the girls need to bring. Be sure that the girls have the right amount of whatever they will need. You can have too much stuff. And O is for organization. As you plan with the girls, keep in mind the who, what, where, when, and how of the activity. Assign girls jobs and let them know what to expect. Make sure to review safety, emergency plans, and assign buddies. Teach the girls to count off and make sure the girls are aware of time to, for, for departures and where they need to be. Here are a few additional resources you may find useful. Our council website, girlscoutsgwm.org, 
Here's where you find the lending library for the journey boxes or download the program guide and get the patch programs to use with the girls. The GSUSA website is the national website. It also has activities for the girls, journey maps to help you with the journey side trips, make your own badge requirements, and many additional resources for you as a leader. ScoutingWeb.com is an international independent website and has links to songs, games, ceremonies, and activities that you can use with your girls. Pinterest has great ideas for everything. And your community team. Don't forget about other volunteers in your community. Take advantage of learning from other leaders who've been there, done that, and are usually very willing to share. Council staff. Council staff is always there to support you. To be connected with a correct staff member, email customercare at girlscoutsgwm.org and they will forward your request to the appropriate staff person. How am I doing? Here's a checklist that you can use throughout the year to see how the troop is doing. When generating ideas and choosing activities, do the girls suggest activities based on their ideas and interests? Are the girls active in choosing a wide variety of activities? Do the girls use the program resources, the Journeys and Girls Guide, to help them plan activities? Do the girls show an interest in helping people in their communities and their families? Do the girls know and understand the Girl Scout Promise and Law and use them as a starting point for possible take action projects and other activities? When planning activities, do you help the girls plan interesting, enjoyable ways to do the things they have chosen? Do you help the girls determine the budget, time, equipment, space, and resources needed? And do you and the girls decide together who will do which parts of the plan? When carrying out activities, are you and the girls learning about new things together? Do you give guidance when handling difficulties that arise while activities are in process by providing support, advice, and know-how without taking over? Are you following safety activity checkpoints for all the activities you do with the girls? Do you remind the girls of their plan if necessary and help them to recognize the results of their ideas? Are you making sure that the girls have the opportunity to try out various roles within the responsibilities of the troop? And when evaluating activities, are the girls determining if an activity was successful or not? If an activity was less than successful, are you helping the girls determine how it could be improved for the future? Are you helping the girls recognize what they have learned and how to use it in a variety of ways for themselves or others? And do you hear the girls talk about our troop and the activities we did? A sure sound, a sign of success. When it comes to troop finances, are you helping the girls learn about budgeting, collecting dues, and keeping money records? And is the cost of activities set so that all girls are able to participate? Are the relationships with the girls good within the troop? Are they listening to each other and respecting each other's differences? Does everyone have the opportunity to participate and the activities are not dominated by just a few girls? Do the girls feel comfortable expressing their opinions and ideas openly? And is attendance good and are girls prompt at arriving at meetings? And most important of all, are you and the girls having fun? Thank you for watching our webinar on Blossoming to Brownies. If you have questions, please feel free to call us at 888-474-9686 or you may email at customercare at girlscoutsgwm.org. Thank you again for listening to our webinar on Blossoming to Brownies. Thank you for all you do. Girl Scouting can't happen without great volunteers like you. Thank you again.